What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Y'all know what time it is. We in this kitchen about to cook up something real quick. I just came back from Walgreens doing a little deal. Um, I think I had to make so many purchases and they would give me uh, $20 Walgreens cash. They haven't... I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Put it on my account yet. They better hurry up before I get upset. But anyway... I'm making some uh, whiting fish and some fried potatoes. The fried potatoes, I already got them on. But the, I had seasoned it with garlic, um, a little seasoning salt, and lemon pepper. I got my seasoning right here. Like some water flew in there. Okay, got my grease on. And my uh, potatoes are cooking. And I, they keep on, the oil is like bubbly. I think it's like that because the potatoes was wet when I put them in there. But as long as they still cooking and whatever, I'll be all right. As long as it don't bubble over. But uh, yeah, we about to put these fish in this uh, cornmeal. Next time, I'll probably make some battered fish, but for right now, I'm just going to use the cornmeal to make them. And the cornmeal I use is this cornmeal. I either get the red or the yellow one, but this is good, and it has a seasoning to it as well. And um, whenever you fry fish, you want to make sure that the grease is hot and ready to go before you drop your uh fish in there so it'll start frying like right away and yeah i'm deep frying this fish still haven't got me a deep fryer yet i don't even know what i'm waiting on but i already got too much stuff on my counter so i'm not in no rush to put something else on there but yeah, and when I season the fish, I only season one side because this cornmeal already has seasoning in it and I don't want it to be uh, salty. And I'm going to cook uh, these fish until they get crispy and golden brown. And I will be back to show y'all what uh, they come out looking like. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, this is what the fish look like since it came out the grease. Crispy fish. Potatoes is still uh, cooking. They getting brown. Mm, they got, um, I just seasoned them with onions and uh, pepper. Black pepper. Then we got some more fish in. Some more fish ready to go. And it's a simple little meal that you can throw together. They don't take no time to cook. Yeah, and I'll be back when the food is finished. Oh, and once those are done, I'm going to drain the grease off of them. Put some um, cheese and some butter in those. And yeah, they'll be good to go as well. So I'll show you what they look like uh, once they get finished cooking. Okay, yeah, I drained that grease out for the potatoes. Put the, a little bit of butter and cheese in there. I put some mayo, shredded cheese, and some Velveeta. And I'm just uh, got it cooking a little bit so that cheese will melt. And the potatoes will get a little browner. But that's what we got going on. And... As you know, the star of the show, the fish. We got some more cooking and an empty pan because I need to wash the other fish off and get it prepped to be fried. And we should be eating in a little bit. Okay, y'all, this is the finished product. Fish and fried potatoes with cheese. And yes, I'm about to munch down. I almost forgot to show y'all the finished product. But that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. 
if you like this video and also comment let me know if y'all gonna make some fish and if so what type of fish do y'all like and uh where what state are y'all from yeah what state are y'all from and what type of fish do y'all like to cook or do y'all even cook fish let me know down in the comments and i will see y'all next time i'm out peace what's up y'all back with another video well it's late and i just had to do this um deal at cvs today it was bothering me because i wanted to see basically what is the difference between cvs products and like the regular everyday products that we buy as far as like savings and um stuff like that and like size savings and all the other stuff because i noticed some name brand products have been sh shrinking a lot lately and i noticed that some of the cvs body washes were cheaper than um some of the doves the olays and all the other brands so i just did a little experiment to see could you get money back for for buying cvs products and if so how much and whatever the case may be but i'm gonna get into this first deal to let y'all know um who came out on top as far as price how much money you will save and get back and all of that good stuff so let's get into this first deal okay y'all this is cvs brand products never bought them in my life and when i try them out to see if they are good i will um probably make an update video on that as far as like the lotions and body washes then got um some bubble bath and some cucumber melon hand soap and i just threw in a little cute funko pop because my son collects them and it was on sale believe it or not so let me get into this video okay y'all and plus, believe it or not, Ibotta really goes hard for CVS products. They do give you money back on those. And I noticed that the CVS products does not have digital coupons. Well, the ones that I got right here did not have a digital coupon at all. But let's get into these prices. The cucumber melon soap was a dollar eighty nine. Ibotta gives you back seventy five cent for this, so the final cost is a dollar and fourteen cent. Then we're gonna go over here to one plus other sweet luxury moisturizing body wash. It was. $2.99 and I bought it gives you back a dollar for this and the final price was a dollar ninety nine and this looks like this is a big healthy body wash I mean it's not skinny and you can look from the side it's and it's heavy too so that's one of the products then the other body wash is the Shea Butter and Oatmeal. And it kind of reminds me of the shape of like the Olay's or something. But it was $4.99. Ibotta gave me back $2. So I ended up paying $2.99. And this is a big bottle as well. And it's heavy, and it's uh 24 ounces, so it's it's not nothing little. I, it's it's worth the money. I can see that. Then we have the CVS lotion. Now this looks like the Vaseline lotion, the smaller ones, and it was um. 
four dollars and nineteen cent and I bought it gave me back a dollar for this so it made it three dollars and nineteen cent and this it to me was kind of high for four dollars and nineteen cent it is ten ounces but I mean it really don't look like it but I guess then um I don't know this paparazzi I don't know if it's Walgreens brand or what, but I was assuming it was because I really never heard of it. But anyway, uh, it was five nineteen, and Ibotta gave me back a dollar for it, so I end up paying four dollars and nineteen cent. And this is bubble bath. I haven't even smelt it yet, but I mean, this is also a pretty good size. But for um, five nineteen, I really don't know. And I checked out some of their other products. They have bath salts and um, little bath uh, sponges and stuff. And one of the sponges was like six something dollars, so I went on and went with this. Then I had got a Funko Pop. Believe it or not, it was originally twelve ninety nine. But they marked it down to $3.25. So, my total was $22.50 plus tax made it $24.38 out of pocket. What I paid with my debit card. And then Ibotta gave me $5.75 sent back for these items. And I also received a $3 extra buck for buying um, $15 on CVS uh, beauty products or something like that. But yeah, they gave me a $3 extra buck. So, the final cost was fifteen dollars and sixty three cent and each item was two dollars and sixty cent a piece now look how big these body washes are and stuff you cannot beat that two dollars and sixty cent and like for these last products i think it would be a fair price but like as far as the quality goes I don't know how it is because, like I said, I never bought CVS products. But we're going to get to this other um, transaction that I did with name brand products. So, I will get those set up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I am back and I got this second deal lined up for y'all. And basically, y'all can see what I got. I got some Huggies and some L'Oreal the L5 uh, shampoo and conditioner. Then I got some uh, deep conditioner, keratin smooth, and two CoverGirl products. Okay, let's get into this deal. Okay, these keratin uh, conditioners were two for four dollars, and you get back a two dollar extra buck. But I did not get that, unfortunately. I will be calling them because, yes, that is my money and I want it. Okay, let's get to the huggies. The huggies were buy one, get one 50%, and I was shocked because. That is a good price for diapers. They even had that sale on all the Huggies and the Pampers. But I decided to go with the Huggies with the Mickey Mouse because they were $12.49 a piece versus the um, Huggies, the Red Pack. They were, I think, let me see... 13 or 14 some a piece, but anyway, they were higher. So, when I looked at the receipt, they rung up one pack, rung up $9.85, and one pack rung up $4.82. And you get back a $5 extra buck for buying uh, two diapers and plus like i mentioned they are buy one get one 50 percent i did not have a digital coupon with these uh diapers as well 
You know, maybe if you have inserts or coupons for this product, it'll be way cheaper. Now, the CoverGirl products was the eye pencils, which is my go-to when I want to get extra, um, extra bucks and stuff. This pencil, eyeliner pencil is my go-to. It is $5.49. And you save um, three dollars with that digital coupon, making it two forty nine. The CoverGirl concealer is eight ninety nine, and you have also another three dollar digital, making it five ninety nine. And you get back a five dollar extra buck with these buying two CoverGirl products. Then L'Oreal products are um, buy two, get a $6 extra buck, and they were $5.49 a piece. And no, I did not have a digital with these as well. And I know some people do have um, a digital L'Oreal um, L5 digital, but unfortunately, I did not get one. And I didn't check my other accounts because lately uh, with CVS, I don't like their accounts because it's always glitching, messing up, or doing something. So I didn't check the other accounts. I just checked one account, and that's the one that I've been using. But anyway, um, and then... Um, Okay, the total was 32 uh 16 plus tax with the tax made it $36.11 and um basically uh hold on, hold on. Yeah, it was 32 and then with the tax made it $36.11 and I also used $9 in extra bucks and a 10% off um it was a CVS dig uh, digital that I had received and um yeah my total was 3611 out of pocket and I had got back $16 extra bucks so it made it twenty dollars and eleven cents. So thirty six eleven take away sixteen for those extra bucks that I got back. Made all of these items twenty dollars and eleven cent are two dollars and uh fifty one cent each. And um basically I think the C V S deal was a little cheaper for the C V S products. Uh, a little cheaper out of pocket, but they were basically the same for the final cost. They were four dollars and forty eight cent difference in um basically my final out of pocket cost. So y'all, that is up to y'all if y'all want to go with um. Let me talk to you. That's up to y'all if y'all want to go with the CVS products or the you know, name brand products. I was just basically trying to see if I could save more. But either way, like I said, it, it almost came the, up the same. It was just like a $4 something difference. And um, like with the CVS products, I didn't have digitals um, with those versus with the um name brand stuff i did have a couple of digitals not a lot and the cvs was so empty that i really couldn't buy all the stuff that i wanted to buy because i wanted to buy the dove serum body wash because they have that nine uh ninety nine it's also nine something dollars at walmart as well but see, I mean, Walgreens is still kind of high, and I wanted to try that body wash out. But, yeah. So, and I want to say thank y'all to, thank you to the ones who uh, subscribed and watched me and been with me since day one. I really appreciate it. And if you knew can you please show me some love and hit that subscribe button, that like button, I even comment. Comment 
Hmm. What what could we leave in the comments? Um CVS deals. Yeah, CVS deals. And um, you know, go try out some deals and even comment down below if y'all have some new deals or videos that you want me to try and do or whatever. I am open to um suggestions and yeah like comment subscribe and also share this video and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss a beat and you know when i'm dropping these deals and i need to be taking my butt to bed so i can get up and try to do this five off of 25 at this dollar general tomorrow because the dollar general has been on fire this whole week and yes, I do want those five off of 25 deals. They got chips. Um, what is it? Buy four and they end up being like a dollar ninety-five a piece. Then they got a deal on the Dr. Pepper sodas. They have a four dollar digital. You buy six um two liters of Dr. Pepper and end up paying three to four dollars out of pocket just depending because i did that deal i did um two orders one came up to three dollars and one came up to four and i did them back to back same store same register don't know what happened but that is a fire deal memorial day is right around the corner y'all might be going to a cookout Whatever the case may be, go run and get these deals. I'm not playing with y'all, but I'm out. Peace.